What's up guys, it's your boy Legend Lore, and today we are hopefully wrapping up Winter Tusk. Um, I don't remember a ton about this dungeon, other than I remember it's hard. Or at least the end fight is hard. Um, so I've done a lot of stuff off camera, mostly just working, nothing like pert... Pertinent doesn't even feel like the right word. We're gonna do a jewel pack today. Um, well, that wasn't very helpful. We'll do one more. Also, not the most helpful. We'll do another, because I have no... Oh my gosh, okay, actually though, like, could we get... All right, well, that's nice, but not... Again, not helpful. All right, screw that. Whatever. We'll buy one Farley's gardening pack. Awesome. That was lame. And then, because we're finishing up Winter Tusk, we'll do a Grizzleheim pack. And okay, well, hey, we got some Hammer of Thor spellaments. That's cool. All right. Um, I don't know if we have a harpy yet, so we will keep the harpy. Um, I know I don't want that. Don't really want that. Or that, or that. We'll keep the mana opal for now. Um, we actually want life spear for, um, jewel crafting. Same with Fire Spear, but not the rest of these. Oh, wind! Wait, yeah, we'll keep wind chimes. Sharpened blade, we will keep. Obviously, Hammer of Thor. Okay. Yes. All right. And then, just before we go in, we're gonna redo some sockets. Uh, cause I've done some skills planning. So we're gonna keep the 6% power pip, because we don't have a better power pip jewel right now. And then our Dirk has two circle sockets, and we are going to put in two piercing for life damage. Um, cause that would be great. And then we have a 60 HP health opal, which is also very nice. Next, on our amulet, um, we're working on this a little bit. Uh, what I would eventually like to get are, well, there's two options, and I want to know what you guys think. We can either get stun block, and each one is 4%, or we can get... Um, I believe the square is incoming healing, and those are also 4%. So right now, I'm leaning towards we do healing, because 8 or 12% stun block, not very likely it will trigger, and they don't try to stun us like that much to begin with, versus 8 to 12% increase in incoming healing, especially with Maya, we would use that all the time. Uh, but we don't have those right now. So we're going to affix just a couple plain defense. These are not great. So 18 and 15, that's 33. So that means every time we get hit, we will take 33 points less damage than whatever the actual damage was supposed to be. Oh my god, we have so many of these. Um, okay, and then same thing. We're going to keep this on there right now because we don't have any other square jewels like at all to use and we're not putting this on so we'll have one percent stun block just for shits and giggles for our last circle socket we are going to put one more life pierce so we now are at 12 percent life pierce which is really nice uh and then we have a 59 hp health opal that we'll put on and then we have a new spell deck Hang on, what is our character? Oh, that's Armor Piercer. I was like, whoa! 
Uh, okay, accuracy is at 4%. That's what I thought. So we have a new spell deck that has better spots and still keeps the triangles. So we are going to do an 8% and... Oh, I was like, why can't I find it? Well, there, okay. And a 7%, so either way, our life percentage will still be, our life accuracy will still be over 100%. All right, so now our current stats are 4, 47, 46, that's pretty good. A ton of mana, so we're fine. 82 damage still, 33% resistance, and 33 points of resistance, 12% life accuracy. Um, this works out to usually about 75% critical. Um, if the bosses have some block, it drops it to about 68, 69% uh, chance to critical block. I have no idea what that does for us. We have 15% armor piercing, which is very cool. Uh, we only have 8 incoming, 1% stun, 101 power pit. All right, let's go. We're ready. We're not. I don't. <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't remember how hard this is. I probably should have gotten help, but it is what it is. We're going in. Take the low road, yeah. Hello. You're a sight for sore eyes. Thank you. Bonnie or Stormroar sent my warband into these caverns to capture the coven after they attacked Rundle Fjord. Oh, did they? We were quickly ambushed. Oh, it's split up. No. My warriors are scattered throughout all of Nastrond. Nastrond. The final barrier protecting the Hall of Jotengard. Ice Titan sleeps. <gasps> to breach the walls of Jotengard, you will need a set of rune carving tools. I have lost mine down here. Isn't it Jotengard, not Jotengard? I oh, also well, whatever. images of four runes needed to open the gate. Those runes were with my rune carving tools. Of course they were. Winter Skulls took everything. If you can recover them, they're yours to keep. Thanks. You certainly need them. Beware. These caverns are cursed. Walking into them is certain doom. All right, um, thanks for the pep talk, question mark? Okay, so we definitely are looking for the trog. And, well, that's not great that there's just a boss over there. That doesn't bode well. Um, questions, okay. Okay, there is a runestone and the trogs. All right, so now, those are here, so we're looking for the runestone and the trog. They're probably just blatantly obvious at the end of the um, dungeon. That's what they do a lot of times. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, that would be my guess, though. Why is there not another skelly thingy? Okay, there's a skelly thingy. Oh, I've been doing a ton of just, like aesthetics work and research and like again gem research and items and oh gosh it's just been a freaking time um some good some really cool stuff i learned um we can still do a stacked garden the thing that they changed and got rid of was the way you used to do it is on the middle level in the middle plot you would put a gnome a garden gnome a tropical garden gnome uh and then you could still put a plot there as well. And what it would do is you would center on the gardening gnome, on the gardening gnome, on the tropical garden gnome to cast your spells. And they made it so you can't put the gnomes down like that anymore. Um, so there's a different way to get your spells you to work. the rune carving tools, but only one of the runes you need is here. Oh, lovely. Um... What was I saying? Oh my gosh. Oh, so that's bad news losing the other three runes. Yeah. I'm sure the coven has them. So we must win them back. It seems you won't need those rune carving tools for a while, but do not lose them. All right. The wall over yonder was not there when we first entered the caverns of Nostrand. It is likely that you'll find another of the runes on the other side in the hands of one of the worst of the coven. 
I speak of a skeletal warrior named Colgrim Soulsunder. Colgrim took captive my ally, Truda Stoutheart. He is likely lurking behind that icy wall. If only I had my mighty hammer, I'd break that wall down and pursue. Can you find my hammer and do what I lack the strength to? Shatter yonder wall, defeat Colgrim, and rescue Truda. Yeah. I can do that for you. Oh, a hammer! This has got to be Doolin's hammer. It looks very heavy. Oh my gosh. You I use Doolin's hammer to strike the icy wall, nice. breaking it into tiny pieces. The Kevin has promised me a world of ice. Should I keep this rune from you? You cannot prevail. Mm, maybe I can, though. Um. So I know how to... Sorry, going back to that topic. I know how to do, set up, whatever the freaking words I'm trying to say are. Um, oh, he's actually kind of strong. I know how to get us a workable three-tiered couch potato garden. That's what I was trying to say. Um, so that'll be fun. We'll get that set up. It'll be really nice and pretty. Oh no, critical. Hiya. Critical block. Because we're awesome. So the biggest thing is just we need to wait for our couch potatoes to reach elder because we need to replant them. So we need to wait till they're done so we can tear up the old plots and build the new plots. No, bad sco bad snow skelly thingy. Um Okay. I have no memory of how long this dungeon is. We'll definitely be hiring some minions for the final fight. Or, how much are like those, like, badass buff potions? And can we only have one potion active? Is that a thing? I feel like that was a thing. We can only have one potion active at a time. No, maybe that's not a thing. Maybe it's we can only have one type of potion active, so you can't have like a 10% damage boost and a 20% damage boost potion. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. We're going to look at elixirs in a moment, because I'm curious. See if we can buff ourselves for this final fight. We're not there yet. I'm well aware we're not there yet. I'm just planning. All right, Kulgrim. You sneaky dickhole. I guess we'll hit him with a wand spell. I probably should save those in case he puts um, his shields on, but whatever. For that exact reason, right there. Gosh dang it. But that's also why we put three uh, pierce gems on is we'll cut well no, uh, we must get three percent pierce from something else too um so now if uh, even if he has that on and we were to use a life spell it would only block 35 percent instead of 50 because we have 15 percent pierce because we're awesome no it's a Kraken! So since we're going first, we're actually going to attack. I know we don't have our Amplify anymore, but I don't want him to put up a shield uh, because we didn't attack that turn. So 
Because if he did, we'd be gaining 15%, but then losing 35. So it's better to do this. Also, we crit, which is awesome. Nice. We killed the skelly thingy. You find the second of the runes on the ground after defeating Coolgrim. Yeah, we do. All right. And is the rune it's good or? To see you. I've been waiting without hope of rescue. Well, I came here. Send you? Yes. I was parted from the others of my warband. They were captured and taken across the icy chasm. Oh. The icy roof is loose. If a horn is sounded, it might cause the ice to break and a bridge to form. Hawk Horncaller bore with him a horn dropped in the fray. If you can find it and sound it, it may open a way. Was that supposed to rhyme? Sadric Duskwing on the other side. A coven sorcerer ranked among their most powerful. If you meet any others of my group, Hawk, Ulfang, Njal, Thorfinn, or Agneta, tell them to show courage. Could you imagine just like running by them? Show cards, bitch! Just keep going. The horn's over here. This is clearly Hawk's horn. It feels magical, charged with power. Yes, the horn will blow. That's unfortunate that we've chosen to do this now. Obviously, that's not part of the prophecy. <laughs> oh, it's the horn will sound, not the horn will blow. But still, you get me. Hello. Goodbye. All right, that. You blow the horn and yeah, it causes the ice to shake and begin to fall. It just fell into like a perfect bridge. Oh. How did you get down here? Magic. No matter. You'll meet the same ruin as the rest of the Thane's foolish warband. No! I will leave you to the mercies of my icy ally here. Greg Witherspoon, of course. Uh, do we have to? Oh, we do. Okay. Hang on, sir. I'm grabbing some flowers. Maybe. There we go. All right. Now I can do battle with you, bonk. He didn't even say anything. He just is, okay, all right. I can respect a man that just wants to brawl. Oh, shit. We maybe need to either update this deck or start using our actual boss deck. Cause they're, they're bringing some pain. So I don't need this anymore. It's just, I was trying to diagram out what jewels I wanted to hunt for. Um, at one point, so I had like gone through my gear and the best gear that we could get and looked at what that would leave us sockets wise. No! We need a... Dang it! I don't think it'll even... Bah! Well... Dang it! Okay, we're just gonna attack. We don't have a blade, though. It's not great. The horn will call. Dang it! No crits. That is unfortunate. Well, well, hello. There it is. Okay. That is what the prophecy is, right? The horn will call. The mirror will break. The horn will call. Mm. The mirror will break and the horn will call. Suck 
something something the sky will fall those, those are the three prophecies with the three worlds is the mirror will break the horn will call and the sky will fall I don't remember what the rest of the prophecy is though um Alrighty. I mean, I might as well. Now I want to look it up. It's going to bug me. I have to know. Wizard 101. More gants. Prophecy. That's not how you spell that. Prophecy. Um, we'll redo the amplifying. Morganth prophecy. The mirror will break, the horn will call, from the shadows I strike, and the skies will fall. Did I miss something? Why didn't it redo? Did I get stunned? This is what happens when you're reading instead of battling. Whatever. Interesting. Okay. Yep, it's yeah, the mirror will break, the horn will call, from the shadows I strike and the sky will fall. Which also kind of refers to something else in Is that Azteca? Or is that Chrysalis? I think that's Azteca. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. I don't know. I I shouldn't... <laughs> I'm like, I know for sure. I don't have a clue. Well, that's what Google's for, baby. We're going to look up something else. Search. Oh, I think it is in Chrysalis. Never mind, I was wrong. Moon clips. Um. Yeah, Moon clips is in Chrysalis. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. Moon clip. Chrysalis is world 10, it's when you get to level 100. Rawr. <sighs> Yoink. Bonk. Gosh. I was like so pumped for this all day and I'm still pumped for it, but now I'm just like... Relic drops the third missing rune. I'm just yawning non-stop, it's just really annoying. So, have you seen a trog? I heard my horn calling. <laughs> it sounded like you brought the roof down. I am a defenseless cub here in these caverns, without arms or armor. You have arms and armor. Can rescue my sword and shield from the frost trolls who took them? No. Fine. Okay. 
If we had a little bit more critical percentage, we would try the fire gear, but it's just not quite high enough. <laughs> no! All right. Wow. Amplify. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Okay. Bonk. Come on, Legend Lord. Like, I am tired. I was gonna say I'm not even tired. I am tired, but it's, you know, it's not a debilitating tired. I should not be. What it might be is my actual jaw. Because I talk a lot more when I film than pretty much any other time. So maybe it's just that. Ring of the Hungry Wolf. Yeah. Ring of the Hungry Wolf. That bad boy. Uh, we usually use that in our healing gear. So armed, Just because it's I so high. to face what foes come my way. You cannot cut or destroy those roots. They are connected to the tree above and run throughout Nastrond. Okay. If they are damaged. This cavern will collapse, killing us all. Good to you know. Must find a way to charm them. Thorfinn Tree Tamer had a magic flute that would charm plants and trees. If you can find it, it may be of use. Thorfinn was with us when we were attacked by the coven. I'm sure he dropped his flute somewhere. Once you get the Whoops. flute, you can play it to charm those branches aside. Then you may strike deeper into Nastrond. On the other side of those roots is the final chamber outside <gasps> Jotungard, where the four runes must be carved. You may meet others of my warband. Be wary. They have likely fallen under the oh, spell of Oh, that's right. Enemy, the Coven. <gasps> also, I will give it this. You can make an argument of... It's not coincidental luck that they have... Now to use the, flute and see the exact things we need to get past. Because it was a warband sent down here. And we could. you can make an argument that perhaps... The they know what was here already. Okay. Boss deck for sure. Um, and actually, we might want to bring a super boss deck. Uh, we could bring a couple meteor strikes and switch. Um, switch that to fire. Throw a couple meteor strikes in there as well. I rescind that. We're not going to do that. Uh, um. Gosh, I'm just trying. Not that spell. What does this do? Summon life minion if fist bomb on your nose. I don't know what that means. Uh, summon a life minion if the over time is destroyed. Is that what that's saying? Maybe. I don't know. We'll throw in a re two rebirths as well. Hunting worm is not a PVE spell. Uh, we'll throw in one more fairy as well. Eh, fuck it. We'll throw in a couple sprite swarms. Because why not? You may have gotten this far, but here is where you stop. <gasps> There's the runestone. No! Oh.
Look at all those chickens. I'm probably not even going to use that photo. I just thought it was fun. Let's get this rune stone. Four. Yeah, baby. They are to fight for him. Trust not the sons of ice. Summon Doolin's band. They're already here. Why would I do that? Well, that did nothing. I probably shouldn't have pressed that. Alright, I just wanted to see if there was anything else. Um... Okay, so we've got Fire, Life, Balance, and Storm. They're all rank 10. Let's see how much HP they got! Bam! We might need a minion for this, maybe. <laughs> maybe not! They, they might destroy us. I'm aware of that. They, they might still... We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens this first round of combat. Okay, I am very concerned about him. Okay, he's using Triton. That's fun. No, Stormzilla. Any friends online? No, because we don't have any friends. We blocked the critical because we are the bestest in the world. Ow. Ah. <laughs> we have a Maya. Yes. Fantastic. Bonk. Yes! Critical block again! <laughs> oh, we are putting up a fight. Oh, jeez. Ah! My loins! Okay. No! Supernova! Wait, is that accuracy or damage? I, neither? Okay. I thought it reduced something. Who has the most HP? The life. Oh my god, it's life. I didn't... Ah, oh, shit! Fuck! Okay, we've got to boost the damage on her. Hopefully... Okay, 4-Pip Tempest. I'm okay taking the 20% boost from that. Ow. She didn't even attack. Okay. We are holding on to those for now. We're going to put a Spirit Blade on. I'm a little scared. I... <laughs> not gonna lie, my hands are sweating a little bit. I'm a little concerned. Um... I have mild concern for this fight. I have a, a good amount of concern for the next fight. Um, dumb. Okay, that's fine. You put elemental zone. I'm gonna take a risk and delete that. Um, I mean, we need another pip anyways. So we'll put that on. And then I think we'll hit. Because it should at least take out a couple. Also, my arm is... Nice! We blocked another critical! Uh, I do have a little bit of pulsing in my left arm. So, if I have a heart attack... Um... That would suck. Thank you, Maya. 
Honestly, a pet that heals makes such a difference in these fights. Oh. Bong. Okay. Yes! Thank you, Maya. That healed more damage than we took. Oh, we're going first. Okay, we're gonna delete one of those. 72% across the board to crit on them. And they'll take a 1.73 multiplier, which in other words means a 73% increase from the crit. I miss the old crit system. We got a crit somewhere. Okay. And she's not healing. Because the only thing is, if she had healed one of them or all of them this turn, it would have brought them back. Okay. I probably shouldn't have touched that rune stone. I... <coughs> no! Damn it, life! <laughs> nice. But no! That'll boost her damage as well, but I think it's worth it. Especially now that it's a one-on-one, -on -one, you know. And also, that's good to remember that if there's a life person, maybe don't use or maybe have a way to counter them because I knew she was live I watched her walking around didn't do anything about it yeah you're right. yes good girl Maya you are the bestest there is okay Oh! Well then. Because that's a normal faint. We can do that and a treasure card faint. We can put both on. Just in case. Um... Well, look at how much HP she's at, because we might not need to do that. I don't know. We did have both blades last time, though. And she does have a lot. Yeah, we'll probably put the other faint on as well. Gosh. Stop healing! Yeah, the definite downside to how I've been how I structure my decks. We don't have any lower level attack spells other than the wand spells. Because generally they bog down the deck. But in times like that, A having the wand spell and B having a non-life damaging spell both would have been useful. I don't want her to heal again. We're going to attack. We've got a good set of bonuses. 35, 70, 70, 30, and 25. And our natural 82% boost. And we crit. And we have Pierce. 
Nice. Upon defeat, Atri's spell breaks, and Doolin's company are freed from their ensorcelment. Ensorcel. All right, before we do anything else, we are going to, whoops, too far, go in, put a few life prisms in, and, oh, that's right, we never finished putting these in. Well, now they're in and topped off. All right. Oh, hello! Wait, so did we need to hit that rune stone? You I don't... freed us. We did not want to fight you, but we had no choice. Okay. If we want to stop the coven from rousing the Ice Titan, I we do. must carve the Ice Titan's name onto the runes. One rune must be carved on each of the four stones in order to spell out the Ice Titan's name. Only when the rune stones are carved with the Ice Titan's true name will the gate open to you. Once the gate is open, you must enter Jotengard and defeat the coven before they cause the Ice Titan to rise. If you have a means of keeping the Ice Titan in his eternal slumber, now is the time to use it. I do. Ymir. Let's look at these elixirs really quick. Hyper Potion. Holy shit. That's so good. But it's ten dollars. It's ten real world dollars. No, thank you. No, no. No, no, no. Well, the Mega Damage Elixir, actually. A thousand crowns? Uh, the thing is, we don't... Regen. Ooh. <laughs> oh. I was going to make fun of this, but 20% life damage increase. Fortific I thought it said fornication. And let me tell you, I was confused. Oh, it's cheaper to just do the 30 minutes. Wait, by how much? 300 versus 550. And how much longer is it? An hour? Oh, pfft. Yeah. All right. Equip now. Bye. All right. We got 30 minutes. Go, 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 go! Did we ever get the last room? Oh, I see. You have fought well. Raven has a claw in this. Yeah. You cannot stop. Oh, what a big yet. nose. The Ice Titan Emir will wake and bring an age of eternal cold. With the power of the Coven at my command, I call upon the sons of Emir, the Ice Titan, to stop you. Yeah. This is what I was talking about when I was like, Nordry made a comment about this. But none of the others did. Where is the trog? Did I miss him? Well. I'm wasting time. I know I'm wasting time. I'm just scared. All right, let's go. Bonk. I touched, I touched Nordry. Where is the trog? Oh. I remember these guys being a lot stronger. So either my mem either they changed it or I was just a little bitch. Right, they're going to have cheats. 
tag, you are it. Oh, do we have to, like, hit them? Oh, uh, well, we didn't block that critical. That's okay, we have a 20%. Damage increase. Which puts us at 102%. That's pretty cool. Um, I probably should have pulled up the cheats for this. I'm really concerned about that tag you're it. How many rounds do I have to hit him? Also, why is Nordry death? And Austria's ice? What the hell? And Vestria's life? What? Fuck! <coughs> okay, I need to look up how this works. I don't want to be caught unawares. Uh oh. Wizard 101. Nordry. Because I should be able to pull any of them up. And it'll show me the cheats. Okay. Okay, so it looks like it's not that big of a deal. Um, okay, it looks like Unless the they have their own cheats. Nope, they're considered minions to Nordry. Okay, so mainly it just means I can't solo target attack whoever's not it. Which makes me really glad I didn't hit him. Because I was going to. Because normally it's like, oh! Like, I'm it. You have to... Uh, you have to hit them or something bad happens to it to you. This is just Don't hit one of the others. Gosh words were hard That sucks. That's an angry 25% <laughs> Nice um, Crap Unicorn what was the last time we saw Maya cast unicorn? Thank you My phone's running. What's happening? Oh, it's just I funny. Okay. Those shields suck. This hurts a lot, actually. Gosh dang it. Ow. Well, that blows. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize we didn't have... Crap, I know I'm stunned, but... I didn't realize we didn't have, um, Monstrous? Is that what it's called? Is that what... Is that the one we are currently using? Is it Monstrous? Oh my god. I don't need these right now. Um. Fuck. Oh, I should have used it. Because that would have gotten rid of... Oh, is that what happened? Because I was like, I could have sworn I put the... Change on.
please. God damn it! We need, we need. Oh my gosh. Okay, we can hit Vestry right now because he's the brother that's it. Uh-oh. Ow, that actually kind of hurt. Maya, we could use some healing. And I have deleted a ton of healing spells because I'm trying to get monstrous. That's not great. Okay. Oh, it's colossal. And finally. Okay. No, we're just, we're hitting. Go strike. Okay, kill some giants. Kill some giants. I'm so freaking scared. Oh, we have the 20% potion. We crit on at least one of them. We got our 15% pure. Oh, pff, that's not going to do shit. Oh. Come on, Rufus. Yes. Three down. Rufus, you beautiful lad. What? Why is he? Oh, no. that This is just his turn. Wraith is also the spell he'll cheat cast if you trigger the cheat of attacking the wrong brother, I think. When Nordry is it. So I was like, why? <laughs> but also, now that his brothers are defeated, he shouldn't be putting the shield on himself anymore. Uh, but maybe that didn't count because his brothers haven't been, like, defeated for the round yet. My, you hurt my brothers. Yeah, I fucking did. Ooh, that's fantastic. We drew a feint. Tag, you are it. No, where did my brothers go? I murdered them. Oh! Okay, yeah, he cleared it off. That makes that a bit of a waste, but whatever. All right. Uh, perfect. I was going to say, I would like to heal, please. Is that maybe just a glitch? I must have done Vestraland way earlier last time. Because I remember that this was, like, insanely hard. And granted, I know I have a better build this time... But, actually, if we just put a feint on, I think we can hit and kill, because it's also going to boost because he's dead. No, what is he doing? Oh, you hurt my brothers. It did say he'll occasionally interrupt cast Meteor Strike. Yeah, and say you hurt my brothers. And I'm about to hurt you, too. Come on, Rufus. Strike him down. We got that 20% increase for another 19 minutes. We got a crit. Oh, he's fucked. Nice. Yes. We are strong. Ah! You have defeated the coven, destroyed our power, and thwarted our scheme. It is time to flee! You have stopped the four sons of the Ice Titan, and now you must renew the spell upon their father, Emir. Yeah. That's a big seal. Oh, we get a free chest! Oh, wow. I mean, it's not as good as what we have on, but it's pretty decent. What is this? Valkyrie's star necklace. These are also way bigger than I thought they were. I forgot about the trog. Where's the trog? <gasps> there he is! Let's grab the little lad! Oh god. 
How much is it? Just 50? Yeah. Ooh, that's... Well, well, with the spells it gives, it could be good. You place the golden seals before Emir. That's so dumb. Their presence calms the Ice Titan's sleep. After a moment, it is clear that the Ice Titan will not awaken, and the threat of the Everwinter is over. We're so good. Use the teleporter at Jotengard to come back to the entrance. Okay. We got... The rune... And those little le- oh. Ah, I thought. <laughs> ah, that's a what an achievement! They will write sagas about what you have done. Yeah, they you will. You should go and speak to Grandmother Raven now, though she likely knows already what has transpired here. Probably. That's okay. Rune with a view. Ha ha ha! Very funny. Silly. Okay. Oh, we did so good. Well, where the hell does that go? Are we actually done? Isn't that the end? Is there more? I don't know. Hello. The Ice Titan slumbers once more, and the Coven's power is broken utterly. Yeah, it is. You've done it. One of victory yes. that all the kings, thanes, and heroes in Grizzleheim could not achieve. That's right. You are welcome throughout this realm. But now is the time to tell your headmaster, Ambrose, what you have done. Speak to Balder Goldpaws. He will return you to Wizard City, where you can continue your magical studies. You are Grizzleheim's greatest ally. Hell and yeah. A true friend. And I will watch over you always. Hells yeah, baby. We are so good. We did it. We finished Winter Tusk. We did it in like 10 episodes? 12 episodes, something like that. But at least half of that really was opening packs. So really, if you think about it, we did it in way less. Hello, Balder. Are you ready to depart? Next stop, Wizard City. Cool. I actually wanted to go to Grizzleheim, not Wizard City. Um, thanks for the consideration, I guess, but I wanted to go turn in those two other quests we did. We do need to talk to Ambrose about it. Yeah, but talking to Ambrose will also probably just auto-trigger the end of Zafaria, and I want to save that for next episode when we head to Avalon. So we will wait to turn this, turn both in for next episode, because it will probably launch right into the dialogue about the Avalon stuff as well. And I would like that to be in the Avalon episode, you know? All right, let's get that training point though. I knew I could count on you. You found them all. I sure did. Winter Tusk Explorer. They saluted me because I am so cool. Hello. You have learned much in your journeys across this land. It seems that Ymir's awakening was prophesied. Yes. Oh, we're doing so good. Okay. Well, that's awesome. All right. We're going to leave this here next time. Well... Next time will either be an interlude where we do some gardening stuff or we'll be heading to Avalon. I don't know yet. Or both. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Legend Lore. Out. I don't know why I did this. That was... Whatever.